there. It is Marilyn. This is Beauty School Dropouts. And today we are going to be testing the curler dupe, the rod, on Karen. Alright, this is Karen, if you don't already know. Okay, well, we're going to get started. It goes right here on top. And then it clips on. Ah, two seconds. Clips on to the top. I find it doesn't work good that way. I'm going to clip it to the side. Instead. There we go. All right, now it's got these two ends, these two ends to secure the ends. What happens is you wrap it around just like a curler. I'm going to divide the back so I don't take that by accident. And I'm going to push this side to the front. Okay, now we're ready to start twisting. Take my section from the top. Got it. Her hair is so nice and smooth because I shampooed her and conditioned her. Okay, I'm twisting it. Holding on securely to the rod and wrapping it around. Wrapping it around. Wrapping it around. Bring it around town. Mark it with a B. Okay, now I'm taking another little section. Twisting it. Wrapping it over that section, the ends of that last section all the way to the end. Right. Now another section, this time from the other side. Twist it. Wrap it around. Tightly sit. Making sure that the rod is close to the head. Otherwise, you won't get the top part in. And wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. Last section. Twist it. Just let me twist this. Okay, now I'm going to wrap it over. Bringing the rod into the head closer. Right to the ends. And I take this, I sandwich this part, and I wrap the scrunchie around to secure it. Should look something like that. Now I'm going to do the other side. I took way too big of a section on the other side, but that's okay. Now grab a section from the top. Make sure the rod is close to the head. Okay, my twist came on time. Make sure the rod is close to the head. Okay, wrap this part around all the way to the end. this part. As you can see, there was way more sections on the other side. 
It's a little tricky. You're going to try your best to keep it even. But all the seconds are in, so I'm not worried. Sandwich the end. done, we're going to let her sit and dry. They look kind of like that. It's both one side on one side, the other side on the other side. I'm going to give her a lot of time to dry because she takes a while to take a curl. All right, well, it only took a little, about five minutes to do this, so that part of it's really fast. We'll see how the rest turns out. I'll be back with the results. Okay, I think it's been long enough. We're going to check out her hair and see how this turned out. Now I'm going to take out these scrunchies. One. And the other. And I'm going to bend these. Straight. Again. Hold on to this part and shake it out. Let's see if I could get satin right so it should slide. Ooh! slide right out. Sorry to tug on your hair there, girl. Oh, wow. I'm going to show you. Let me get her off her stand. Look at that. Look at this. I didn't realize. Look at that. I actually like that a lot. That is beautiful. I will say I did spray. I didn't put like mousse in, but I did spray. So, there we go. It curls mostly the ends and not the top, but you can see they're loose and they're wavy. What do you think? <laughs> well, that's the lazy curling raw dupe. I hope you enjoyed this. Me and Catherine enjoyed having you and we will see you again and remember everyone has beauty <laughs>